Come on and take a walk with me in my shoes. Some call me DJ Nasty Nate. My friends, they know me as Nate. And this is only a taste of my life in the city I call home now. Fuck it. I got the wrong burgundy shirt on for a reason, man. This is Anchor Man. We out here. Stay classy, Miami. <laughs> I stayed pretty well grounded in this place. Seems pretty crazy from the outside, but to me, I just see opportunity. Endless amounts. That's why I never sleep in this insomnia-filled city. Even if I'm not working, you can always catch me out in the streets. No! Go here! Yes. Woo! Y'all here? We out here. Luckily, the people I work with make this journey that much better. There's always that mutual respect and motivation, and that could be very underappreciated, not just in life, but specifically in this industry. Fans play major roles, too, and having friends who ultimately become fans means a hell of a lot more. You know, I say I, I think the hardest part about being a DJ is, is the fact that you actually do care about what people think or feel. Like, you want to make your audience feel good in the moment that you share with them, so... Personally, I get a rush seeing people react to me. I want to know what they're going to do next just as much as they wonder what I'm going to drop next, play next, blend into, you know. So it's the hardest part, but it's the best feeling when everyone is on the same page. I treat life just like school. You know, I'm a student no matter what. I'm always looking for new things, new ways to reinvent myself, just new ways to become a better person overall, and not just a better DJ. You know, I think as long as I can continue to do that, I'll remain my only competition. Power 96, DJ Nasty, DJ Classic. See, we out here. We out here with Dr. Pepper. I gotta say my first residential gig was probably the best and worst for a 20 year old, you know. Uh, I had a classmate and she told me, hey, I got, got a homeboy that needs a DJ on the beach. And she called me on campus and asked if I had Sundays free. And my first questions were, you know, what club and how much am I getting paid? She didn't know, so she had her homeboy Fab call me like 20 minutes later. And he told me straight up, like, yo, I got 400 for you every Sunday. It's a cameo. It's a hip-hop party. So basically, we want you to come through and just get shit popping. I mean, it ended up being BMF Sunday. Hell, man, I got to say it. Cameo was one of the best times of my life. I mean, I've played in many venues and even been in different states over the years. But that South Beach life, saying your name in lights, it does something to you. No residential spots uh, as of right now. Maybe have some stuff brewing up pretty soon. I'm more into the live performance and working with artists and bands. Uh, I work with Karen Styles. <laughs> Danger. And going to experiment with the death course pretty soon, so watch out. When I started my master's, I began interning at Power 96 at the same time, which is where I work now part-time. 
Yep, that's me in the back waving a towel. <laughs> Corporate thugging is cool, but calling my own shots is the objective. My ultimate goal as far as DJing has to be to, to not just travel with the, the artists that I work with, but to be able to host my own tours. You know, travel and do what I love to do. And that's make people feel good with music.